It's a scenario that many of us would prefer not to think about. The possibility of a nuclear bomb detonating in the heart of New York City. But the reality is that this is not a far-fetched notion. In fact, just over 20 years ago, a terrorist attack on the World Trade Center caused devastating destruction and loss of life. Today, with the increasing tensions between nations and the continued development of nuclear weapons, the threat of a nuclear attack is ever-present. So, what would happen if a nuclear bomb hit New York tomorrow? The answer is not a pleasant one. In this video, we'll explore the potential consequences of such an event, from the immediate impact to the long-term effects on the city and its residents. It's a terrifying thought, but an important one to consider. Whether you're a New Yorker or simply a concerned citizen, the information presented here is crucial for understanding the dangers of nuclear warfare and the importance of prevention efforts. What is the science behind a nuclear bomb? A nuclear bomb, also known as an atomic bomb or a thermonuclear bomb, uses nuclear reactions to release an immense amount of energy in the form of an explosion. At the core of a nuclear bomb is a small amount of radioactive uranium-235 or plutonium-239 that undergoes a process called nuclear fission when struck by a neutron. This process releases energy in the form of heat and radiation, which can be harnessed to create an explosive reaction. The uranium or plutonium is formed into a critical mass, which means there is enough material in one place to sustain a chain reaction of fission. The bomb is designed to contain the uranium or plutonium in a way that prevents the reaction from occurring until the bomb is detonated. Once detonated, the bomb releases an immense amount of energy in the form of heat, light, and radiation. The resulting explosion can destroy buildings, infrastructure, and people within a large radius. The destructive power of a nuclear bomb depends on several factors, including the size of the bomb, the location of the explosion, and the weather conditions at the time of the explosion. The most destructive type of nuclear bomb is a thermonuclear bomb, also known as a hydrogen bomb, which uses nuclear fusion to release even more energy than an atomic bomb. The development and use of nuclear bombs have been both fascinating and terrifying throughout history. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II were the only times nuclear bombs were used in warfare but they caused immense destruction and led to the deaths of thousands of people. Since then, countries around the world have developed nuclear weapons as a means of deterrence, leading to an arms race that has escalated tensions and increased the risk of nuclear conflict. In addition to their immediate destructive power, nuclear bombs can have long-term health and environmental effects. The radiation from a nuclear explosion can cause burns, radiation sickness, and cancer, and can contaminate the surrounding area with dangerous levels of radiation. What would be the fallout of a nuclear bomb in New York City? Imagine waking up one day to find out that a nuclear bomb has been detonated in the heart of New York City. The immediate destruction and devastation would be unimaginable. But the aftermath of the explosion could be even more catastrophic. You may have heard the term fallout before, but what exactly does it mean? After a nuclear explosion, radioactive particles are released into the atmosphere, and this is what is referred to as fallout. In the case of a nuclear bomb hitting New York City, the fallout would be widespread and could have catastrophic consequences. The radioactive particles would be carried by wind and rain, contaminating the air, water, and soil making them unfit for human use for an extended period of time. Ground Zero, which is the immediate area around the explosion, would become a highly radioactive zone, and anyone caught in this area would face certain death from radiation sickness. The intense radiation would also damage buildings and infrastructure, making it difficult for emergency responders to reach and assist those in need. But that's not all. People outside of the immediate blast zone would also be at risk. 
the radioactive particles could contaminate food and water supplies, leading to widespread illness and death. The long-term effects of radiation exposure could also lead to an increased risk of cancer and other diseases. The fallout from a nuclear bomb hitting New York City would also have significant economic and societal consequences. The loss of life, damage to infrastructure, and contamination of the environment could lead to a long-term displacement and disruption of daily life. The cost of cleanup and rebuilding could be astronomical, and the psychological impact on survivors would be significant. What is the emergency response plan in the event of a nuclear bomb detonation? In the wake of a nuclear explosion, the first responders will be the local police and fire departments, closely followed by state and federal agencies. The sheer size of New York City, coupled with its dense population and complex infrastructure, will make emergency response efforts even more challenging. The blast radius of a nuclear bomb can vary depending on its size, but even a small one could have catastrophic events over a vast area of the city. Evacuation plans will be the immediate priority to minimize exposure to radioactive fallout. Emergency officials will need to identify the areas most at risk and prioritize evacuation efforts. To achieve this, major transportation routes such as bridges and tunnels may be closed to prevent people from entering or leaving the affected areas. Providing medical treatment for those exposed to radiation or injured in the blast will be another critical aspect of emergency response efforts. This will require specialized training and equipment for emergency medical personnel, as well as the establishment of decontamination and triage centers throughout the city. What are the diplomatic and political implications of a nuclear bomb in New York City? One of the first questions raised after a nuclear attack is always the same. Who is responsible? The U.S. government would launch a thorough investigation to determine the perpetrator of the attack. And if it was a state actor, the diplomatic repercussions would be severe. The U.S. may choose to retaliate with military force, potentially sparking a full-scale war. The repercussions of an attack like this could be felt globally, with other countries and world leaders watching closely to see how the United States responds. If a non-state actor such as a terrorist organization was responsible for the attack, the political implications would be just as severe. The U.S. government would be under immense pressure to take immediate action against the group responsible, potentially leading to increased military presence in the region where the group operates. Beyond the immediate political implications, the international community would be impacted by the attack as well. Countries around the world would likely offer support and express condolences, but there would also be concerns about the security of nuclear weapons and the possibility of further attacks. The attack could lead to increased tensions between nuclear-armed states as well as increased calls for disarmament. Domestically, the response to the attack would be heavily scrutinized. The government's ability to respond effectively and efficiently to a crisis of this magnitude would be put to the test. There may also be debates about the role of intelligence agencies and their ability to prevent such an attack from occurring in the first place. The economic consequences of a nuclear bomb in New York City would be significant. The stock market, which is centered in New York City, would likely experience a sharp decline, and the costs of rebuilding and recovery could be astronomical. The government would need to invest heavily in infrastructure and emergency response capabilities to ensure that the city can recover as quickly as possible. In conclusion, the prospect of a nuclear bomb hitting New York City is a nightmare scenario that must be taken seriously by governments and citizens alike. The destructive power of a nuclear explosion would result in catastrophic consequences, causing widespread devastation, loss of life, and long-lasting environmental damage. Emergency response plans are crucial to mitigating the impact of such an event, but prevention through diplomatic efforts and non-proliferation agreements must also be a priority. The potential of a nuclear bomb to fall into the wrong hands underscores the importance of maintaining strong international relationships and working towards a world free of nuclear weapons. Ultimately, the only way to prevent such a catastrophic event 
is to work towards global disarmament and promoting peace and stability among nations. The threat of a nuclear attack may seem far-fetched, but it is a sobering reminder of the need for continued efforts to promote global security and cooperation. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this. Drop a like and let us know your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.